Somalia has been at war for decades, but now life is returning to normal in Mogadishu. Entrepreneurs and returning Somalis are capitalizing on relative peace to start new businesses. Mohammed Hussein recently came home after more than a decade living in South Africa. With a few clicks on his mobile phone, he's able to book a taxi, which arrives in less than three minutes. I chose this online taxi service first because of the security. You can easily get information about the plate number, a photo, the name of the driver with his mobile number. Less than a year since his launch, the Dawaiye taxi app has created almost 2,000 jobs. It has more than half a million users in four Somali cities. The drivers are screened and trained by the app developers. Our application is just like Uber and other world online taxi services, and it's reliable. No technical issues have been reported so far. We are using the latest technology. Less than a decade ago, no businesses were interested in starting up in Somalia. That began to change in 2011, when Al-Shabaab militants retreated from Mogadishu. And this year, the World Bank says the economy is projected to grow annually by 3 to 4 percent. Economists say better transportation, including taxi apps, is crucial for that growth to continue. Whenever there's a development in transportation, it helps people interact, trade, put money into circulation and create more jobs. The company is keen to expand to other cities and business leaders hope it'll help drive Somalia's economic growth. Yolo Abdavid, TRT World.